So Stephen, can you tell us a bit of history about the track and how the weekend's gone for you? Well, it's been a really very special weekend. We've had the official opening of the track after two years, over two years of actually building it, and uh, the best part of ten years since we started planning it and going through the fundraising and everything else. So it's been a big, big day for a lot of people. Of course, this is the, uh, the opening event with Nigel Mansell here on the Saturday. It was something very special indeed. Perhaps the biggest party we're going to see around here for some time with Nigel turning in that amazing 163 miles an hour average speed lap. And that was corners and all, 163 miles an hour. Fastest ever lap of a racing circuit in Great That's Britain. amazing. And on an open day as well. <laughs> oh, that's it. Nigel, as always, performing for the fans, and yeah. uh, he was an absolute star. Fantastic. And that record, I'm sure, is going to go by September, though, when we get the champ cars here. This is the first step in a whole range of different activities. We've got motorcycle racing coming mm. here. We've got the car track days. We've got the champ car race when we've got all of those American champ cars, 22 or more of them, coming over from the States to race in the Rockingham 500 September 20th. Brilliant. That is going to be really something special again. That lap record, I guess, might well even go as high as 200 miles an hour. So, from what I understand, from every seat here, you can see up to 90% of the track at any point? Well, we've actually achieved better than that. In actual fact, we designed the track around the idea that 90% of the seats have 100% view of the action. Okay. And 100% of the seats will see at least 90% of the action. So, even the worst seat in the house here, in fact, it's better because it's 95% of the tracks visible from every single seat in the stadium. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got 22,000 seats currently in position. We're still building the ends of the Rockingham building. That'll give us additional capacity and more hospitality suites. And then we're building another 20,000 grandstand seats further around the corners as well. That's right. We've yes. got a full calendar of everything else going on, including these beasts, the Richard Petty NASCARs. No, you know, these are the real heavy metal, the Days of Thunder. Mm, I was going to say, Days of Thunder, Tom Cruise. He's a bit small for me. But, yeah. mm. Well, this car here is one of the cars. This is driven by Kyle Petty, the son of Richard Petty, who was the most successful driver of them all. Right. And this car has actually got a passenger seat in because in August, We'll actually be running cars here for a month. We'll have 16 of these cars over from Charlotte, North Carolina, with all the American crews, with the drivers, and they're going to be here. Basically, people can come along and pay and ride along and experience this track for themselves. Brilliant. So perhaps if you were thinking about this might be something you wanted to get into as a hobby or something, you could come along and give it a little go. Well, you don't have to so be even like thinking it. about taking it that seriously. For the ultimate adrenaline ride for your birthday this year, I reckon, mm. well, I want my birthday present. Do you know what? My is. birthday September the 20th, so maybe we should come along. I just think we might just I be will be 30. What a way to celebrate your day. Yes, wouldn't it be great? Yeah. Well, you can have a quick look at how you get into one of these beasts yes. to start with. A bit bigger than some of the other cars I've had well, to it's go. it's a big motor car, this. It's a six-litre V8 engine in the front. It's got nearly the same horsepower as Mika Hakkinen's McLaren Formula One car. This has about 700 horsepower. Really? So, and it's heavy. They, they say 3,500 pounds, which translates into a best part of a tonne and a half. So you're talking about a serious heavy metal piece of machinery. Tiny seat, it actually wraps around mm. your ribs to hold you in place. Your arms go down the outside of it. Huge safety cage around here for protection. A six-point seat belt harness, which is, again, look at the size of the buckles on this thing. I mean, yeah. absolutely massive. And this big steering wheel, which is right in, in your chest because you've got to drive with the arms bent because you never, ever use more than that much steering on one of these cars. There's actually, for all it's a big, heavy, powerful car, you drive it with a lot of finesse. Because if you start getting angry with a car on the banking at 160 miles an hour, that concrete wall is going to get very close indeed. Mm. You've even got to take the steering wheel off to get, get in and out of the car. And then you have to climb in proper Dukes of Hazard style. Oh, really? The door, so. Rascal, pick old train! <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days, eh? So swing your feet in and then just slide down into the seat. Oh, I thought that was me then. Ah! Finally, she's in. The big steering wheel just slips around and slips on there, that's it. Like I say? That's it. Now try turning that steering wheel. Oh! oh. No power steering, I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> That's why these guys are all fit. It's a little heavy. <laughs> Once the car's moving, that actually gets lighter. Yeah, I would and, uh, <laughs> Otherwise, I might not make the corners. <laughs> but you see how close the steering wheel is to you? Because you're yeah. driving it with very, very small... It's very movement. comfortable, actually, it this is. position. And you've got all that padding by your right leg and the padding round you, and your arms brace yourself in place, because when you start going through that corner, your body will actually be leaning across against that padding with probably the best part of twice its own body weight. Right. So how do you get out of this thing? Well, it's quite easy. The steering wheel's designed as a quick release. So if you lift the silver collar behind the wheel, that's it, just pull it towards you. And then see. lift it up on the dashboard. And then it's... 
Dukes of Hazard style, back out through the door. Right. So elegance is just out of the window here, isn't it? Well, there's not a real problem. Just <laughs> brace your arm on the roof, slide onto the sill, hey. and swing your feet over. <laughs> ah, agile. <laughs> <laughs>